16 of Advent at Lalande, where we are getting the guest rooms ready, starting with Chambre de la Tour, which is where my aunt and uncle are going to be staying. And that's because tomorrow, Philip and I are off on a very quick, but very exciting adventure. First, we're going to Aachen to meet up with Philip's mother. There's a huge Christmas market there. We're going to be celebrating her birthday with her. And then we're going to England to see my aunt and uncle and we'll be coming back with them by car via Paris where we'll be celebrating my aunt's birthday. So there's a lot of birthdays coming up and there's a whistle stop tour of Europe. We'll be back here in four days. We will be taking you with us and showing you each stage of our Christmas festivities on the way. And then we'll be back here at Lalande just in time to do the last minute preparations for Christmas. But first we need to turn this room into a winter wonderland. Oh, you could just stand here, actually, Philip, because you are a bit of a winter wonderland with that jumper. Thank you. Oh, someone broke your gingerbread in half. Yes, yeah, it's, it's broken inside, just like me. <laughs> hey, we're going on a big adventure tomorrow. <laughs> Don't even try and pull the sympathy card. I love this room. This really is one of my favourite rooms in the chateau, though I might say that in most of the guest bedrooms, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's got a beautiful vintage French wallpaper incredible panelling that's temple and it was done by Michael Petherick but it's all just hand painted there's no actual panelling there but it's quite a summery decorative scheme isn't it all yellows and greens well I actually think this is the this is personally my favourite room my favourite bed of the bedrooms just because it feels like you're getting enveloped in, in the room and yeah. it's, a, it's a bit smaller than the other rooms yeah it feels much cosier and that's something that I I and prefer. easier to heat this winter. And way easier to heat. <laughs> so my idea for this room is sort of massive mantelpiece decoration scheme yeah. thing with a garland. And scheme thing, great. Yes. <laughs> We're all over this. <laughs> another garland just there above the bed curtains. No also, tree in here, just all just garlands. All garlands. And we better go mad on the garlands. Maybe something else here, I'm not quite sure. And then I was thinking for the baubles, I've been buying a lot of um soft golds that were originally supposed to be for the grand salon but i've separated some out that look like champagne because your aunt loves champagne so we're doing so champagne champagne colored uh theme just for her just for her the difficulty with having a more than 40 room chateau no one actually knows how many rooms because every time we count it it comes to a different number because we don't know do we include storerooms do we include bathrooms do we include big attic spaces but anyway, it's well over 40 and it's hard to have decorations for all of that. So each year we add a little bit. And this time I thought I would start to get a different garland for each room. Just every year, choose a different room. It's this room's turn this year. This is the one that we chose because they have these lovely yellowy whitish berries, which I think are perfect with the wallpaper in this room. Let's get a look. I really like this. Philip's not with me. No, I like it. I just think it's very practical. Okay, we, we have agreed no baubles on it. Yes. Because I would have gone crazy, but admittedly someone just sits in bed and a bauble falls on their head. It's not ideal. But I think it's quite snug, especially because it's in the alcove. I would like to be in there with a good Christmas novel. And then we'll find some smaller garlands that we already have here at La Lande, just to do something over the mantelpiece. We'll see if that's enough. And we've started with also the most important thing, the tea set. This was a gift. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that sparkly shine. I love the, the pattern it can. I know, I love it. But it needs more shine, so I'm going to get the polish. And maybe whilst you're doing the decorations, I can be polishing up silver. Sure. That sounds perfect. I'm going to bring a cup of tea up as well. I have the silver polish. There's nothing stopping me now. Philip, I stepped out of here for like five minutes to get the silver polish. And not only is there a garland there, a tiny baby tree has sprouted in this room, even though we said this was the only garland room. Yeah, it just needed something in the corner. I want you to be able to lie in bed and see more Christmas. I agree. You should be able to see Christmas on all four walls. But I'm not sure about the snowy tree uh, next to the bright green branches. <laughs> no, but I think um, uh, that one could look really good in Roger otherwise, with like the bluey and the icy um, bubbles. Shh, don't listen to Philip. You look absolutely adorable <laughs> here. Okay, I'm going to get polishing. All right. And you're, oh, you're baubling. I'm baubling. Baubles have begun. I'm feeling really, really Christmassy. Right, here is our before. It's actually very shiny on the side. It's just the top that I think needs a little help. Quite hard to hold a phone and polish. 
Oh my goodness, that makes a difference. Philip, look at this. It's unbelievable, the transformation. Oh, wow. I love it when the difference is huge because it makes the job so much more satisfying. I thought the sides were good to start with, but look at the difference. I'm sure you can see yourself in there, Philip. Yes. That is a transformation. I'm going to polish these two to match, though. I think that they weren't as bad anyway. I've given them a really good rinse. And whilst I'm in the little tiny bathroom of this room, I have added a good dollop of Christmas kitsch. I'm giving it a final polish as I dry it. That looks pretty perfect. See? I love it. And I was looking at the marks on the bottom. And Jill at Christie's, do you remember, Philip, she gave us the book to look up? Yes. Over? And I'm wondering which country it came from uh, and what period it is. So I think, oh, I'll try and look it up. Probably English, I'd say. What do you think? I don't know why I was thinking German. Hmm, possibly. I honestly don't know. I'm going to go and see if I can find out. Jill gave me this as well, and it's incredible. It lights up. So we have A, B, and also a kind of flower. So I've got a couple of books with silver marks. Let's see if I can make head or tail of this. It's a silver plate mark, Philip. I found it. It's from a company called Atkins, who started in the 1750s, went right through to the 1950s. So it's English? It's English, yeah. Sheffield and London, they had their offices. And it's covered in little clovers. But isn't it so nice to be able to see where it came from? Yes, it's really pretty. It is. It's absolutely lovely. So what I was saying is I was right. You odious little creature. Yes. Actually, I was also thinking as well as German, it could be Irish because of all the clovers. Mm. But yeah, you were right. So what do you think? Is it what you had in mind when I said, like soft golds, creams? It is champagne. So those right. champagnes exploded all yes. over the mantelpiece. My favourite is the little house. It's Just making me feel up. quite um, nostalgic Sorry. in a way. Because my mother's got baubles like, like this, like matte creams and yeah. soft golds. And... Well, you're going to be with her tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be such fun. Oh, the little owl. You've got so many of my favourite decorations here. Oh, no, the Bloomingdale's woman. Come oh. on. She's amazing. Oh, I love what you did. Press for champagne. Yes. That's great. And oh, the ballerina mouse. Now, we have to talk about the tree. You say it like we need to talk about Kevin. What's wrong with the tree? Can you see the decorations I've put on there? No, they've completely disappeared. Yeah. Maybe brighter gold will jazz it up a bit. Uh, that sort of takes away from the whole champagne, soft gold, peaches. I think this isn't working with your theme. Look, I got my way on the bed garland. <laughs> I'll let you choose the tree. Well, I'm going to have to ditch the tree. We turned that table into champagne table. We like Ooh. a champagne cooler. Bottle of champagne, what? couple of beautiful she glasses. Like too, they might like that even more than a tree. Mm. Last week, Philip and I made incredibly powerful rum hot chocolate in our room. And we made so much, there was quite a lot left over. And I like hot chocolate so thick that it's basically just melted chocolate, in this case, with the addition of coconut and rum. And as there was so much left over, we put it aside in the fridge. And of course, it's hardened up because... It was basically just chocolate. So now I'm just going to make it into little balls and turn it into rum and coconut truffles for my aunt and uncle. I came downstairs for just a minute in the middle of getting the room ready and the whole day disappeared. You know what it's like the day before you leave? There are a million and one things to do. So now it's really late at night and we're actually leaving the chateau in five hours time and we still haven't finished my aunt and uncle's room and they're coming back with us so we have to do it now i've rushed into the kitchen because here i have the leftover of the rum and coconut hot chocolate that we made so i'm just going to make it into little balls and then roll it in cocoa powder and just like last year i'm going to use philip's beautiful porcelain box to put the chocolates in it is so gorgeous and this year i've already filled it with orange pat de fruit, orange peel covered in hot chocolate, and the marzipan pigs and fruit that Davy brought from Belgium. But I've left a little space over here for the homemade truffles. Meanwhile, Philip has taken over the silver polishing <laughs> and is polishing the ice bucket so there can be a bottle of champagne ready to greet Tatinette. All we need to do at the last minute is run up with some ice. Wow, that show me the difference. Cool. That is incredibly satisfying. Right? That's even more satisfying <laughs> than the actual teapot was. A massive. Ooh. 
Well, you need a decent rum truffle, don't you? <laughs> there we go. Maybe we should try one now, just a half each. Check it's okay. To check it's okay. I can make two small ones. This one is a full-size one, so mm. we can't try this one. My hands are too warm. I would suggest dipping my hands in ice water every now and then to keep them cool, but not tonight when it's minus six outside. <laughs> my hands are disgusting. <laughs> but you were right. The big ones are not as elegant. Seeing as you just made another big one. I know. They look like <laughs> little blocks of coal for naughty children. Yes. The little ones are really nice. Here, I made a tiny one for you to try. Mmm. They're very good. The flavour is lovely. Oh, they're incredible. I think it looks good. It looks so good. What a difference. I finished my giant truffles. Wonderful. Now I'm going to put some in here. But the rest I'm going to put in the fridge for Jerry, Mummy and Natty's family when they arrive. Wonderful. So they can all have a few in their rooms. I love that. Looks really pretty. Let's go and put it in the room. And there are loads left over for everyone else. I just want to get into that bed. It looks very nice. It's magical. I'm going to go and get the tissues in okay. my little box. I'm going to get lots of books for mm -hmm. them. Maybe a hot water bottle to make it even snugger. Be very nice. Alright, back in a sec. Okay, I'll arrange this. I don't mean to distress you, but we're leaving in three and a half hours. <laughs> I have interiors magazines because I know my aunt will love that. House and Garden, World of Interiors and Homes and Antiques. Wonderful. Oh, I actually want to just sit in here and read those. I know, but we would regret it in three and a half hours time, won't we? Yes. Set up. I brought a really pretty tissue box. I should really like those colours in here. And then books. I've chosen three books. These are all books that were given to me as gifts and that I absolutely love. There's The Morville Hours. That's a really wonderful book about the garden at Morville House. And then Daughter of France, The Life of La Grande Mademoiselle, who once owned the Chateau de Lalande, though we don't know whether she ever actually came here or not, but she did own it. And this is written by Rita Sackville West. And this is a lovely one, Encyclopedia of the Exquisite, an anecdotal history of elegant delights. And the lovely thing is that you can just dip into it. It's just a few paragraphs on each different thing. Al fresco out in the fresh air. It's lovely, actually. Absolutely lovely. So I think these will be great. A little pile of them here. And of course, we have a scented candle. This company is called Mythology and I love their descriptions. It's called A Very Old Friend, Mood. The warmth of an old smile peeking out from underneath a pointy hat. Stern wisdom, wit, and a hearty laugh that echoes through the ages. Notes of dusty robes, spilt ink, amber, and earthy musk. And you can't imagine how wonderful that smells. I love that scent. So pop that on there. And you had another candle in here. Yes, I do. Champagne candle. I brought something to put it in. So this candle was sent in Kedo de Chateau, and it says sparkling champagne. So <laughs> I thought it would fit the theme, and we already said that we'd keep it for Chantal. Et voilà. Perfect. I think we declare this room complete. I think we do. Christmas shoot for a luxurious two hours sleep and all going well. We'll see you tomorrow in the Arkham Christmas market. I'm gonna, gonna let it